Hello, callers. Welcome back to Viva Barca and welcome to another interesting episode where we are going to discuss on some interesting updates. We begin with Vito Roche as Barca set deadline to make a decision on the teenage Wonder Kids arrival in January. We are going to discuss on that as we progress. Secondly, talking about this other report, claiming that Barca will listen to offers for most of their current players in the summer of 2024. We are also going to be looking at that. So as we get right into it, please do ensure to subscribe, turn on the post bell notification to always stay notified whenever I post a new video. Consider liking the video and please watch it right up to the very end. Barcelona are working hard to incorporate 18-year-old wonder kid Vitor Roja into the squad during the summer transfer window. The Blagrana signed Roja from Atletico Paranense during the summer transfer window in a deal worth 30 million euros plus 31 million euros in variables. But the teenager was not brought in during the summer as financial fair play issues meant that his registration would have been impossible. But the Catalans have been working with the idea of bringing Vitor Roja into the fold during the winter transfer window, although FFP issues will pose a challenge. Now, according to Sport, Barcelona have set a deadline to make a final decision on whether Vitor Roque will be arriving during the January transfer window or not. The club have already told the player that they want to sign him now, but they have not given him the certainty, you know, that this will be the case. Barcelona and the player talk constantly and have set a deadline of November 15 to make a final decision. Manager Xavi Hernandez is putting pressure on the Catalans to get Roja, who could be key in the second half of the season. Everything possible will be done to sign the Brazilian now. Not There is, uh, there is no more salary margin left to bring in players the two ways to sign Roja are to sell players something that is not considered or to increase income. Barca are not ruling out the possibility of a downward renewal of a player or for a player to make room for Vitor Roja. Barcelona are planning to hold a meeting with La Liga to discuss the arrival of Vitor Roja and present a plan to allow him to be registered until June 30, bearing in mind that the player salary in his first six months is very low. For now, the Blaugrana do not have the OK from La Liga. The final negotiation will take place at the beginning of November and Barca have committed to making a decision on his registration on or before the 15th. Sporting director Deco is going to take a direct part in that negotiation with La Liga, aware of how difficult it will be to sign him. In the event that he is able to play for Barca from January, Roque will only have a week's holiday after finishing the championship with Atletico Paranense and will join in mid-December to start training with the first team under Xavi. If Barca find it difficult to register him, the player will remain in Brazil to continue with Paranense. So there is no option for the 18-year-old to come to Europe for six months to play with the Spanish team to acclimatize to European football. Honestly, sometimes it sickens me. I mean, seriously, like we signed Vitor Roque since in the summer and after everything, to ensure that he comes that very summer, you know, it wasn't possible because of financial constraints, because of financial fair play regulations. And of course, what was clearly known is he will be coming to Barca in January instead. 
and now we are still talking as if you know maybe the January window comes Victor Roque is not still certain that he will join because Barca are still going through a lot they need to balance the books like how on earth how on earth it's really 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 um hurtful to be honest because Victor Roque is a very important player I think well I mean in fact very talented and Barcelona continue to face issues on and off the pitch you know, many Barca fans are really waiting anxiously to see Vitor Roque in action. And now still looking as though it is still not a 100% guarantee, not a 100% certain that he will join. But of course, there are a lot of factors. There are a lot of things that Barca need to, you know, arrange in order to ensure that it is more deco. He has been so, so instrumental. I mean, I must admit, he has been so hard working since becoming the new sporting director of Barca. And he wants to really ensure that Vitor Roque comes to Barca in January, not next summer. We quite remember signing Vitor Roque. Deco was very, very much instrumental since he was the, you know, he was a scout for Barcelona representing South America by then. Then on to the final story of discussion the early parts of the season are well behind us as barcelona enter a difficult phase where the depth of the team will be tested the club have already struggled with a plethora of injuries this season which has led to calls for more reinforcements in the upcoming january transfer window however according to a report from sport Deco has finally returned from his trip to Brazil where he had a key meeting with Vitor Roque. Upon his return, the Barca sporting director has started planning for the future ahead. As per the report, everything suggests Barcelona will not make many moves in the upcoming January window. The Catalans will not hear any offers even for players who have struggled to get regular game time. That is because both Deco and Xavi agree that they might become useful during the remainder of the season. On the flip side, Barca simply do not have the salary budget to go after a low-cost pivot who may support Oriol Romero. The incorporation of Vitor Roque, therefore, is the only possibility, but even that may require some monetary tightening. Why Barca may not make too many moves in January? They are expecting a busy summer window in 2024. That is because the club agreed that they need to generate significant revenue through the sale of star players. As such, the Catalans are expected to listen to offers for most of their unwanted stars. Deco's priority is to transform João Cancelo and Felix's loans into permanent deals, but that will require significant revenue. As such, it appears Barca could be headed for another massive exodus next year, though it remains unclear whether or not the board would consider offloading even the top players such as Frankie de Jong or Lewandowski. So guys, with that, we have come to an end of this episode. Thanks a lot for watching. Until next time. Bye-bye.